and now there's one other person who has a uh, strong scheduling issue that I'd like to come forward from the state of Kansas. Another person in his first term who has impressed me greatly, Representative Hules Kemp. Thank you, Congressman. It's a pleasure to uh, stand with you today. It is a pleasure to be here, but it is a, uh, a real shock to see what is happening today. I would agree with the comments of, uh, of my colleague and, and, uh, and many others. I, I must admit, and I, I guess in today's environment, it is an admission. I must admit, I, I am Roman Catholic. But this issue, this issue is not about what faith you call your own. This issue is about our religious freedoms of whichever we choose. Who would have thought of an administration that would identify and select a certain group and say, we're going to violate their conscience? We knew this was coming. We knew this was coming. I'm reminded of, of, of a few quotes that I've heard in the last... Uh, few months, actually in the last few years, a famous quote that was already used previously that uh, we have to pass this bill to find out what's in it. Former Speaker of this House, we're finding out what was in it. We found out many things that we didn't know were in it. Actually, when this was debated on the Senate side, there was an attempt by our leadership, Republican leadership, that said, no, let's make certain that this doesn't happen. This was anticipated by this administration, I believe, to attempt to violate the conscience of millions and millions of Americans. And yet they continued forward of that. We also found out that once we read the bill and it was passed, or passed and then read it, that uh, this administration, HHS secretary who we talk about, Kathleen Sebelius, began to give waivers. Said, well, it applies to some groups and not others. If you happen to know the secretary, or happen to be from the right district, or happen to work for the right company, you can find a waiver. And I remember speaking out about it. What I didn't anticipate was having to ask an, a waiver to actually have your beliefs still hold those in America. Who would have thought that we'd have to get permission from the President of the United States and his secretary, Kathleen Sebelius, for permission to believe what I believe? That's shocking. You know, and I mentioned I am a, a Catholic. And Pope Benedict the 16th a few months ago said, freedom of religion is the most American of all freedoms. And I, I think about to the thousands of folks that have served in this chamber that walked up here and fought for our freedoms and spoke on the floor for them. They would have never guessed that if you are of a particular group, in this case, Catholic and others that disagree with this administration, you would have to pay a fine to actually disagree with them. You, you, uh, Congressman, you, you've showed a, a, a real civil rights leader in the history of our country, Martin Luther King. One of his other tremendous quotes is, was that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. That didn't just apply to his beliefs. He thought it believed, applied to all Americans. But what is shocking to me is that we have a president who disregards basic American freedoms and is willing, somehow, it's just shocking to me that he's willing to risk his election to alienate folks because of what he is attempting to impose. But that's what we expect from Obamacare. That's what we expect from his health care plan because it is government mandates. It's government control. As the Attorney General of Virginia said, the President's health care plan, the debate over that, it's not about health care. But fundamentally, the issue is liberty. And that's what we're finding out right here. I call upon this President, call upon Kathleen Sebelius. Please reach deep down into your soul and also think about your next election. Because we know if this rolls back, it's about the next election. But we don't care about the next election. Americans care about their freedoms and liberties. And I want to thank my colleague for bringing this to our attention. Uh, we've been fighting this on, on many routes, and I think it's just absolutely critical. And I thank you for, for your efforts. 
And hopefully, we will recall those words. And injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Thank if you. If I could ask the gentleman, uh, is there any chance that Kathleen Sebelius will issue waivers to religious organizations, not just the labor unions who up until now have been the main ones getting waivers? That, that is an excellent idea, I guess we would expect from the administration. But fundamentally, that is favoritism. That is picking who gets to believe what. And uh, as uh, previous colleagues talked about escaping, immigrants that came to this country came here for this particular reason, to avoid paying a fine for what they believe. And that's exactly what we're being forced to do. Do we get permission from the president not to pay the fine? Do we get a waiver? Well, they, how do we accommodate religious freedom, Mr. President? How do we accommodate that, Secretary Sebelius? How do we balance? It doesn't say anywhere in the Constitution we're going to balance what you want with our freedoms. And the First Amendment is very clear, and the first part of the First Amendment is that, the freedom to believe in the God as we choose. And I appreciate and thank you for that. I ask for, I'll do this. Let's ask for a waiver for everybody in America <laughs> to actually get a waiver so we can believe what we want to believe. I, I would ask for that as well. So thank you, uh, uh, Congressman, for, for your leadership, and we will continue to join you in this effort. Well, I thank the gentleman from Kansas. He's been an excellent addition to the newer members coming here to Congress, a uh, excellent addition.